question that is so nagging that we really need to deal with today as we talk about all these social media things and Twitter things and so on and so forth is none of this stuff matters unless we really understand fundamentally what we are going forward. Are these things part of that DNA or are they simply ornaments on the tree called radio? In other words, as Brian Eno put it, where is the edge, where does the frame start? I contend to you that the frame is a lot farther out than anybody thinks when we think about radio. And the picture is moving wider all the time. To quote our friend Gordon Burrell in this very room, if you stop thinking of yourself as a television station, you can get to the next level. What? 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 Do you, what? Take out television, put in radio, same story. Take out radio, put in newspaper, same story. You've got to stop thinking of yourself as what you think you are to get to the next level. So what does that mean? Let's use an example from a different industry. Let's use the trusty old iPod version 1, 2001, right? Came out, exploded with success. Very first MP3 player on the market, changed everything. Mm, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't the first MP3 player on the market. Maybe, in fact, that was this device that came out two years earlier and changed nothing. Well, what's the difference between the Diamond Rio then and the I don't understand. And by the way, the iPod itself didn't change a lot when it came out. That didn't happen in 2001. That took another two years to 2003. Now, what happened in 2003 that made the big change? What was it? It wasn't iTunes. That was there from the beginning. No, it was the iTunes Store. In other words, Apple didn't create a product. Apple created a system. Apple created a process that took you from searching for music to finding the music to buying the music to getting it on your device to enjoying it simply, easily, and efficiently at a low price. That's what they did. It was a process. It was a system. It was an ecosystem. And that explains why when that came out towards the end of 2003, within 12 months, boom, things started to explode. A system. It's more than the device. Radio is more than the device. And they're doing it again. I add. Advertising. Wait a minute, I thought they were in the gadget making business, right? No, they are you. So again, where's the picture, where's the frame? How do we know where that difference is and where, what direction it's moving in? Let's take the advice of Jeff Bezos over at Amazon. He says, here's how you can grow into the future effectively, two ways. They are one, take an inventory of what you're good at and extend out from your skills, grow out. And two, determine what your customers need and work backwards, even if it means learning new skills. Now, what you're good at, extend out. What your customers need, work backwards. We're getting better at the first one. Ooh, are we bad at that second one. We are so bad at that second one. And it's got to change because that's our opportunity going forward. So how do we extend out? How do we work backwards as broadcasters? The challenge is understanding what we are in this era here today, here now. What makes us different? What gives us an advantage over everybody else? And I submit to you it is this and simply this. We are the megaphone. We are the megaphone in our local markets. What does that mean? Well, let me show you how the megaphone has worked until now. The world of spots and ratings, okay? On the right, you have clients. On the left, you have consumers. In the middle, you have that radio megaphone moving those messages to those consumers. The clients put those horribly irrelevant and uh, in undistinguished and poorly produced messages on our air. They clutter up our air, and we force feed them to uh, faceless, nameless consumers who would like as much as possible to get away from them as proven by PPM. It's a great system. I love it. That's how it's worked until now. Here's the difference that the digital aspects provide us. It flips the funnel. The funnel remains. Now suddenly, it's our opportunity to invite, to move, to invite consumers to our destinations or to destinations that are in our interests that are not labeled with our call letters. We're no longer in the call letter business. We're in the megaphone business. We're in the business of moving inviting listeners to destinations, consumers, not listeners, consumers to destinations, places, sites, streams, actions, results, audio, video, but endless. All destinations that benefit us because of the direction of that funnel. Now, 
you might say, well, you know, Joe Hardware Store has Twitter, has Facebook. They can do this themselves, right? Guy Kawasaki says so. Uh, yeah, this is how big their funnel is, more often than not, unless they're Gary Vaynerchuk or Guy Kawasaki. The beauty of radio is that we have the funnel. So what to focus on? Unserved jobs advertisers want done and unserved jobs consumers want done, such that when you link the two, you are making better the lives of consumers. The goal is that simple, folks. It's that simple.